Hello folks, Jerry and welcome back to Racing Gauss and today we will be taking a look at some Hot Wheels cars that were released to the showroom a few days ago. So we have the Bone Shaker here as well as the Twin Mill and those are the only two cards which I currently have even though there is the, uh, I think it's Rip Rot. I don't know, I collected uh, Hot Wheels a few years ago but I, uh, you know, didn't really uh, buy any of them recently so here are all the versions pretty much. Uh, two of them are available for RLC, the others, the wrapped ones, not, not the, well, I mean, I guess kind of painted ones with, you know, some unique designs are available in the showroom. So, I really like the details here, for example, you know, uh, the wheels on this car look exactly as they would on an actual Hot Wheels car, so that's quite nice attention to detail. Uh, I think it's very interesting that, you know, they have, in fact, decided to um, add these cars into the game, it's, it's definitely a nice addition as well. So, um... Personally, when I collected Hot Wheels, I was more of a fan of, you know, the actual cars that existed in, re in real life, but uh, some of the designs are actually quite cool as well. So the Rip Rods are the only cars here which are gem only as of right now, and if you guys are interested, I can probably uh, pick some up uh, just to review them, but for now, we're going to be taking a look at the RRC Bone Shaker and Twin Mill. Uh, or is it? Yeah, it's Twin Mill, okay. Um... So, these cards definitely look crazy, probably, you know, crazier than anything you would uh, normally see in a game, and, uh, well, they actually launch exactly the same, these cards are very, very similar, uh, even though the Twin Mill is just a bit faster, so, we will go over the max setup here, and, uh, pretty much the, uh, these two cards use the common sense, you know, it's probably uh, the same for uh, the Rip Rot, but, um, and, I mean, I guess we'll have to, uh, you know, review that if we want to be sure. Anyways, I did uh, max out these cards with both uh, Supercharger and Turbo, and it appears that the Turbo is better. Even though some people have said that apparently the car is better to drive with the Supercharger, but I doubt it. Anyways, these cars uh, are both very slow for uh, A-Class, they are both A-Class, uh, same as the Reprot. And uh, this one is maxed, uh, maxed at 1664, while the Bone Shaker is maxed at 1663, which is really, really bad, honestly. They are beaten by pretty much everything except for the uh, Challenger RT and the Nissan 370Z for A Class. There you go, the setups are exactly the same. There you go. Obviously, you cannot put uh, uh, lights or underglow on this car because. Uh, I don't know, licensing issues, I guess. I don't know, it's weird. But you can still paint them and put rims on them, which uh, on the uh, Bone Shaker, it actually does look quite interesting. Uh, for example, you know, because the rims are super huge. Let me show you the original design it came with. There you go. And I mean, it's quite interesting. These cards will, you know, not exactly be used there because they are currently available. Uh, I guess the Rip might be a bit rare, but that's really about it. Also, there, uh, there is a version of a Bone Shaker. For, uh, that will be, uh, you know, used in this week's turf, which is quite nice. I believe the first place one has a, a gold grill, which is very unique, and that's uh, it's really nice. But as you guys can see, there's not exactly many of them in lobbies. Um, yeah, these cards are not very useful, if I'm honest. But they are uh, quite nice to drive. Actually, kind of remind me of the Ford GT that I drove yesterday in terms of launching. Not exactly shifting, but uh, we'll get to that. Anyways, as I've said, Twin Mill, a bit faster of the two, even though it is, uh, I believe it's like exactly the same to drive, at least the uh, release is the same, this guy is gonna uh, go that way, fine, uh, whatever, I don't exactly need that, I'm sure there's someone here who will just free run us, I mean there are a lot of cars in this lobby, and uh, when I did a few practice rounds with the cars, uh, people were quite eager to, uh, you know, race me, but... Obviously, these cars not really too out of the ordinary. Uh, they probably will be in a month or two, but as of right now, you know, they're cheap showroom cars, so whatever. Even though, you know, there's still a cars that are better bang for your buck. For example, the Super that just challenged us. Let's race him. There we go. The release is just after the first light comes on. Let's see. There we go. I believe that the first gear is late and after that all your shifts will be perfect at around 7500 and yeah, something like that. This car is capable of hitting 8.4s, maybe there is a better way to shift it, but I don't know. I did a few test runs and after very limited, you know, research, this is what I found. 
but it's not a bad car to drive and that's quite nice because you know you look at the car it looks crazy it doesn't drive, uh, drive crazy at all so this car not bad at all to drive anyway it's slow I wouldn't uh, you know suggest pink slip in this car versus anything else uh, you know just Hot Wheels itself Challenger there you go thank you for the free run always appreciate it there you go Let's see if we can repeat that run Hell yes, there you go. So I'm not 100% sure on uh, the way you're supposed to launch this car, but as you guys can see, it is pretty consistent, same as the 4 GT. So, uh, there you go. I'm not sure if this is capable of hitting 8.3s, but what's definitely not capable of hitting 8.3s is the bone shaker which uh, it even has the uh, exact same stress praise that's because you know both cards use the exact same tune uh, there you go here it is bone shaker pretty much like a hot rod uh, looking thing and now I might fucking buy some from the internet now because they're in the game and you know it's just promotion but still it's it's nice that we get you know uh, something new to the game so obviously this car will throw you in the 63 lobby which means that you know um, it is a bit slower uh, there we go uh, some evos here okay they are a bit faster than evos but not by much so whatever let's just try to raise some people uh, obviously the uh, practice run option not implemented just yet but it should be coming which is quite nice okay why do i keep challenging the stella it's not gonna work Let's try and raise the uh, the cover the jet here. Even though we have like a few here, so okay, he chickens out. Won't raise him. Still, the SRT might run us. Uh, I'm just gonna do some rounds here to prove you guys that these cars uh, drive exactly the same. I'm not sure about shifting, okay. Uh, but as far as the launch goes, yes, that's um, there's like no difference in between the two. See if any of the evos want a free run. I'm not even keeping track who I already, who I already challenged here, so you know, sorry if I by mistake challenged the same person six times. Let's see what he wants to do. 100. We're just gonna go for the free run here. I mean, I could race the pinks, make this a pink slip, I'll get some extra views, but that's not what we're here for. There you go. So if we uh, launch this car and shift it exactly the same, we will get, there we go, an 8.5. So it is a bit slower, uh, but in my opinion, it does look a bit cooler. So, you know what, just pick the one you like more, I guess, because these cars are not gonna be used to race really, just, you know, as a collector's car. So there you go, uh, that was my quick review of uh, the two Hot Wheels cars. You guys wanna see the rip -out. Please go ahead and like this video and you know make a comment about it and I'll for sure get uh, one or two, who knows, maybe I'll even ping, uh, ping slip these ones if you guys want to see some Hot Wheels pings. And um, yeah, it's, it's a nice addition to the game. Uh, these cards aren't OP, which is um, in a way good, uh, not exactly useful, but they still look pretty awesome, which is pretty much what Hot Wheels are about. So yes, I'll, I'll definitely take them. So my name is Jerry, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.